This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for October 29th, 2024. It's currently September 20th, 2024, 11.46 p.m. Eastern time. SPY at the time of this reading is $568.25 at USD. The shuffle video for the October 29th reading was created on August 4th, 2024 at 4.13 p.m. Eastern time. In this video, we're going to go over the overall trend direction for the day. We're going to talk about the chart behavior around the day's highest high and the chart behavior around the day's lowest low, as well as the general timing down to roughly about an hour as far as where they are throughout the day. And then we're going to get into where the best trades are and the chart behavior by the hour basically you have to give it plus or minus an hour here or there of wiggle room and not in all readings in, in a few readings here or there but always pay attention to the sequence of events because that will keep you on track if we are plus or minus a little bit here or there on the timing the overall theme of behavior for the day, we have a key resistance level that we decline from and then should return back to that price level in the not too distant future, either again in the same day or we see it in the following day. Looks like it's probably in the same day. It might even be that we're revisiting it from the prior day. Because we have the strife card here. We got this princess of, of sorts here. I think we probably revisit it probably at this strife card here, but we'll look at it as, as we progress. Behavior around the highest high, we have a decline from the high down to and through support to meet another support and we rotate sideways along that second support. A lot of volatility into and or out of the low. It looks like either the low is, in some cases, the princess of swords will indicate if you have it, have it correlating to like a low situation, it could mean that we're revisiting lows or it could mean that the lows are within close time proximity to those important resistance levels. And I'm advised to trade around a, peer, a period of erratic behavior back and forth through the same price level in the midst of which we revisit a crest. Sometimes we revisit a trough. In the pre-market, we open lower and out of a decline, we have a notable move to the upside. Even in the face of some seemingly overwhelmingly negative chart behavior or headwinds, we still move to the upside and we create a near overbought crest right around the open that we should sell off from through multiple support levels. That's going to be quick though, that sell off because we have a notable move higher pushing the upper end of a range higher we revisit crest there in that first half hour maybe like in that might see the crest more than once between the open and 10 and 11 o'clock between roughly 10 and 11 we have this move higher to key resistance we stay above it briefly and then break back down through that same price level with a full retracement shortly thereafter another similar move going on between roughly 11 and 12 where we have a pop and a drop and then a rally into key resistance between 12 and 1 that rally then turns into a decline with consecutively lower spikes up on the way down bringing us to a trough between roughly 1 and 2 in the midst of, of price swings we have that resistance level that we revisit there probably highlighted at least once between one and three o'clock but most likely it's going to be highlighted around 1 30 and it'll be highlighted because we'll have a breakout through it and then we'll have a u-shape it'll be like temporary and then we'll have a u-shape dip where we decline back down hit support rotate sideways in the last hour and then there's a rally back to a high right around the close where we'll sell off i think probably it's pretty significantly overnight so i think what we're doing is we're revisiting opportunity right like yesterday we had the strife card and we had the princess of swords and the high core leader was this ace of wands my sense is that we're revisiting that opportunity here in the morning where you could open up a short and likely you wouldn't want to close the short until the following day but if you do have a good opportunity at the end of the day you, you might want to close out of it there um, there's probably more opportunity to add to a short at the end of the day there between roughly two and three and then maybe right at the close and most likely you're going to close out of it here at around 12 o'clock on the 30th and that's spy for october 29 2024 let me know what you think by hitting that like button as always make sure to follow that rule of karma blessings to all my angel investors i'll see you on the next one